Hello everyone, this is me, Gabriel Gavazzi, and today I'm going to show you how to use your DualSense controller when you want to play GeForce Now, Google Stadia, or even xCloud on your Google Chrome browser. Uh, if you ever tried to play it, uh, it doesn't work. It, it, like, it mixes the right joystick with the L2 and R2 buttons, and that's not optimal. So we're going to fix that. And first off, uh, what you need to first do is to actually come here on Google Chrome and search for Gamepad Tester just to see if you actually have this problem. Uh, I have it, if you see it already detects my controller. And if I move like the right joystick, it's actually moving, it's actually like pressing the R2 and L2 buttons. And if I actually press the R2 and L2 buttons, it moves the joystick for some odd reason. And uh, I'm currently using Manjaro, which is uh, actually based on Arch Linux, but I already saw that this is a recurrent problem on like Pop! OS, Ubuntu, every Debian based distribution actually has this problem too. And if you actually come here to Arch and you search to Arch Gamepad on Google and come to the Gamepad page on Arch, you're going to see that if you come down here, the DualSense controller actually has uh, some problem that like it says that Steam inside your force now inside web browser may be confused. Uh, da da da. It's actually because it's not binded properly. Uh, the the official driver that is included in Linux kernel version 5.12 already has like perfect support for the DualSense. I thought that it didn't have, but actually it has. The problem is more leaning towards Google Chrome itself rather than the driver for the DualSense. So what you're going to do to fix this is first install Xbox DRV, which is a, a driver made for Xbox controllers and it can be used to work with other controllers too. In my case I'm using Manjaro, so if you're going to actually go to like Xbox DRV or AUR and you're going to clone the git because it doesn't have like a proper installer for Arch Linux. Uh, if you come down here, I, I, I couldn't like do the regular way, which is like clone the git and then download and then just compile the the, the, the regular way. But there's a comment here from Ligamac that should be actually pinned because he teaches you how to solve this. If you want, I can actually make a video on how to do this, but it's really simple. You just need to follow his steps or her steps, I don't know. So after you do this, you can check if Xbox DRV is working on your computer by writing Xbox DRV on the terminal. And it's going to say that no Xbox or Xbox 360 controller found. Okay, that's fine because we don't actually have one. So what you're going to do, let's close this first, uh, just to not like mess with everything. So what you're going to do is to come here and you're going to copy this, this whole thing. And you're basically going to paste on the terminal. So before we actually do this, let's come back here to Gamepad Tester again. Let's close this one. And you're going to see that I still have this problem. Like if I move the left joystick, it actually presses the L2 and R2 button. And there's no other controller here. So after we paste this code here and press enter, you're going to see that like, now, if you move the controller, it's not going to work anymore. But if you actually come down here, it now has an Xbox 360 controller. And ta-da, it works perfectly. And I already actually tested on Google Stadia. It works perfectly. So the binding was wrong before. And every time you press like X across, actually, to to like confirm or to like okay I I wanna enter this video I'm gonna press like X it actually presses circle so it would go back but now if you actually press cross it's gonna open the video normally so that's it now you can like play Stadia X Cloud and anything you want I still I'm still like a noob in Linux so I don't know if you can actually make like a, a bat file to execute this this code here every time. Uh, but that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was useful for you and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.